Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the best MEDC, and today I have an unboxing for you. I've not done an unboxing in quite some time. I think the last one I did was my wear knife, my very first custom knife. But today I have a package from Urban EDC Supply. It's been a while since I've gotten anything from them, and I'm kind of interested to get this open because I totally forgot what's inside. I have no clue what is in this. By the time I get this video published, this stuff may be sold out. So if it is, Sorry, but that's just kind of the nature of the business with Urban EDC Supply and small batch stuff, just the way it is. But some of the stuff should be still in stock. Uh, you can go to their website and purchase using the links down below. And those are affiliate links just to get that out there. But with that said, let's get this box package. Really, it's a bag. It's, a, it's an envelope. We get this envelope opened and let's do the damn thing. Okay, here we are with a package, another package from Urban EDC Supply. Like I said, I totally forgot what's inside here. Uh, we talked about it, but it's been weeks and I can barely remember yesterday. So first thing, we have a Combat Beads Precision Driver. I get, I'll talk about that in a minute. I get a lot of questions about that because I've already got one and I use it in photos and stuff and people ask about it all the time. We have something from Chavez, Chavez Knives. We have a blank white box from Alliance Designs. Raylight, ooh, this is a good package here. Uh, Mackie, not sure what that is. And a sticker, as well as a packing slip, which has more information on everything I'm gonna talk about. So, we'll just go over this really quickly. We have a pin from Chavez, it's a bolt action. We have a uh, Brian Efros Ice Light Titanium Machines satin from Alliance Designs, the JW Combat Beads Precision Driver in Blasted Titanium, Raylite Pineapple Brass, and then we have a Mackie Lighter Acrylic Titanium. First, let's talk about the driver because I get a lot of questions about this thing. I have one already, I have one in bronze, and it's, it's really cool, I use it all the time. I actually carry it in my uh, toolkit. So in this you get some stickers as well as a certificate of authenticity, so here's JW knife and tool and combat beads. So that comes in here as well as three bits. I would imagine these are Weeha, but I, yeah, they are Weeha. So you get uh, a flathead, a Phillips and a Torx that looks like a T8. Yeah, and it takes a standard quarter inch bit and it's on a bearing. So you have this bearing on the rear that spins freely. So when you are screwing things in and out, you can let the screwdriver spin. So you can just really remove screws very fast, which is really handy if you're doing knife maintenance and stuff. I love the other one, a half of these, and I just wanted to talk about the precision driver because I get so many questions about it. I think they're still in stock over on the website. So that's really cool if you're interested in the precision driver. Next up, let's take a look at the pin because I've never had or even touched or held a Chavez pin. So I got a lot of different pins. But this one seems pretty cool. Now, if you are a fan of the skull, Good, if not, then that's something you're gonna contend with, I think. This is also a chunky pin. Kinda like the, the heft, uh, but it is a bolt action. Let's see what kinda refill it takes, because I, I know nothing about this pin. I would imagine Parker style. Yeah, so we have a Schmidt Easy Flow 9000. First thing I would do uh, and will do is switch that for a Schneider Gellion 39. If you can find them, I really like them. They're like a, a G2 refill, but for the Parker size. I just, I cannot make the Schmidt Easy Flows work for me. I don't like them. But the good thing about a pen like this is it takes anything Parker size. So you really have a very, very broad spectrum of refills you can put inside it. So this is the blasted titanium finish. Uh, really hefty little chunky pin. And that's really, I think, on brand for uh, Ramon Chavez. Just chunky gear. I love the Ultramar uh, Redention Street. I, I've been carrying one off and on for the last month or so. Love those knives, they're beefy, chunky, and this is no different, um, so really cool. Like that a lot. All right, next up is a flashlight, which is uh, very, very popular, I think, in the in the EDC world right now. It's a really good buy for the money, and this is the Raylight Pineapple. I think I can just tear this, yeah. 
So Raylight Pineapple is, I think this is my favorite flashlight size for EDC. So you've got keychain lights, you've got 18500, AA, AAA, but this is I think my absolute favorite flashlight size. And I do not have one of these on hand. I don't think this 14500 is gonna work in here. Let's see, maybe it will. I think this requires the button top. Oh, it doesn't. Cool, it works. Okay, so with the DC Zero, you with a clicky switch, you have to select your brightness and then click it on. And then once it's on, you can't change the mode. The Raylight with a reverse clicky is the opposite of that. So if you half press, nothing happens. But when you fully depress it, you select your brightness by half pressing. And another difference is the Okluma does not run on double A's. It only runs on 14500s. This one, you can throw a 14500 or a double A in here. I have a Amazon Basics double A in here and it's a little bit of a tight fit, but it does fit and it does work. So that is the Raylight Pineapple in brass with the XPL uh, LED. Next up, let's talk about this Mackie lighter. I don't know if I have, I probably can't show it functioning. But inside here, you get some spare O-rings. Looks like a key ring that's been bent out, maybe. You get a ball chain and a sticker. This is a little keychain, like peanut style lighter. It's much smaller than it looks. I saw these on the website and I, I thought it was actually much bigger than it actually is. This is a very small peanut style lighter. How's it work? What am I supposed to do? Oh, okay. Whoa. Wow, that thing is really in there. Okay. So put a little bit of lighter fluid down in there. Fill it up like a little Zippo. And you have yourself a very tiny peanut lighter in it. It's actually kind of funny because when this thing is actually totally closed down. It's very similar, both in construction and size uh, and appearances to a combat bead. Not saying anybody's ripping anybody off here. I'm just saying like, it's kind of like a combat bead without the hole through the center. And instead of attaching this to a knife or something, you attach it to a key ring and it has the same visual effect or very similar, but this one has functionality versus just being pretty or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think that's really cool. It's from Mackie and Navi. Navi designs, Navi designs. And then the very last thing in the box or the package is this Alliance Designs knife. Uh, I've never had anything from Alliance Designs and I was actually pretty excited to try this out. So once again, I'm gonna need my knife that I just put up. So here we have the Brian Efros slash Alliance Designs Ice Light in Titanium. Uh, I actually really like this. The size of it's good. The blade shape is a little different to me. It's not quite like anything else I've got in my collection. In fact, the closest thing in blade shape is probably the Shurgorov Neon Zero that I've been carrying lately. Um, a little different, obviously. This one's a full flat. This is like a high saber, flat grind, uh, shorter blade, but uh, it's in the hand really well. It's deceivingly like big, not big, deceivingly not small, I guess. I'm not exactly sure how to explain it. Good action. Very, very solid feeling. I'm a fan of this. I like that a lot. You have this big, thick titanium milled clip, titanium frame lock. I would imagine this is on bearings because that is very, very smooth. Yeah, definitely on bearings. Uh, I don't know the blade still. If I were to guess, probably M390. You know what, let's look it up just to be sure. Oh, ooh, RWL34. So it is not M390, that's a that's a nice surprise. So overall length is 6.92, blade length is 2.89, 118 grams. Uh, carbonized lock face, just like the custom. Very, very nice, $259 for RWL34 knife. Not bad. I, I like this, it's chunky, it's not milled. So there's no milling on the inside of the scale. So it's actually kind of chunky and a little heavy, but not, not in a bad way. It's got heft in all the right places, <laughs> I guess is the best way to put that. This thing's pretty cool. It is a chunky blade though. That's pretty thick. I don't know what that thickness is. It tapers pretty quickly too. 
So it is a little slicier than you than you might think, even though it's got a, some thicker blade stock. Yeah, they, the ergonomics on this are good. Uh, that clip could be a little bit of a hot spot, but I don't think it is. It doesn't really feel like it. it. I can notice it in my hand, but it's not a hot spot. Again, really good action. Very nice small knife. I like this. I like it a lot. So just to recap, we have the Mackie Lighter in Titanium, the Raylite Pineapple in Brass, the uh, Alliance Designs Brian F. Rose Ice Light in Titanium, the Chavez Ultramar Bolt Action Pen, and the JW Knives uh, Combat Beach Precision Driver, all from uh, Urban EDC Supply. There you have it. This is uh, some really cool stuff from Urban EDC Supply, and they got drops every single Wednesday. Uh, really cool, sometimes hard to find stuff, collaborations with makers all throughout the EDC community, which is really what I think Urban EDC Supply really thrives at is, is all those collaborations and, and bringing out some really cool stuff and working with different makers. It's a really, really cool thing they got going here. And uh, I'm actually surprised by this knife. I, I really like this knife. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. If you want to support what I'm doing here on the channel, Everything I talked about in this video will be linked down below. Those are affiliate links, although some of the stuff could be sold out by the time this video goes live. Uh, there's also other stuff linked down below that you can click. Those are all affiliate links as well. Uh, you can also go to patreon.com forward slash bestmedc or carrycommission.com where you can buy shirts just like this and other merch and gear directly from me. Also follow us around the web. You can find us in most places at bestmedc. But with that said, and until next time, carry on.